The Reverend Creflo Dollar spent the night in jail after his teenage daughter called police for help. The pastor of World Changers Ministries was charged with family violence. Fox 5 News has the 911 call that prompted that arrest. Fox 5's Doug Evans has more from Fayette County. Hey, I just got an email from Creflo Dollar's attorney in it, a quote from the megachurch pastor about what happened. Let me read it to you. He says, as a father, I love my children and I always have their best interest at heart at all times. I would never use my hand to ever cause bodily harm to my children. The facts in this case will be handled privately to further protect my children. My family thanks you for your prayers and continued support. No matter what the pastor would like to keep private, a lot of it has already been made public. The Reverend Creflo Dollar spent most of the night locked up in the Fayette County Jail on a charge of simple battery. It was a midnight call by the pastor's 15-year-old daughter that brought a sheriff's deputy to the family's gated mansion in North Fayette County. Fox 5 News has obtained the 911 recording, but because the alleged victim is 15, a juvenile, we've decided not to play it. This is part of what she said. The 911 operator asked, what's going on there? She said, I just got in an altercation with my father. He punched me and frightened me and choked me. It's not the first time it's happened. I feel threatened by being in this house. I don't know. I don't know what can be done, but I'm scared. I'm shaking. I don't know what to do. Reverend Creflo Dollar is the pastor of World Changers Ministry in College Park. It's a mega church with a congregation in the thousands. Members have included sports and entertainment celebrities, including heavyweight boxing champ Evander Holyfield. Fayette County deputies took Dollar into custody after a deputy heard his teenage daughter's story and saw what he described as marks on her neck. Investigators say the injuries were minor. The injuries, of course, were just superficial injuries. No medical attention was needed. However, they were present. In that 911 recording, the operator asked, quote, Do you have any injuries? Do you need an ambulance? She responded, No, ma'am. Creflo Dollar was released on a $5,000 bond. He can live with his daughter, but the judge said he's not to threaten her, harm her, or even argue with her. The 911 call became more specific about what allegedly happened at the home that prompted the teenager's call for help. The 911 operator, what were you arguing about? She said, he asked me, he asked me, it was a previous argument about me going to a party on Saturday. He brought up grades and I started crying. So I walked out of the room to the kitchen to my sisters. I was by myself. It was just me and my sisters in the kitchen. And he followed behind me and asked me why I was crying. I said I did not want to talk to him. He went off. That's when he went off. He came and put his arm around my neck and choked me and bent me over the table. I pushed him off me and he threw me on the ground and punched me in the face. In the deputy's written statement, a sister of the 15-year-old corroborates her story about the alleged attack. In Fayette County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.